first recording of 2024. It is the 2nd of January. Hopefully, your guys' New Year's was awesome. Mine was low-key. I just it sounded like a war zone outside, but I slept through that sucker because it wasn't quite a war zone yet. Who knows where we're heading with all the crazy crap going on in the world. Um, a lot of interesting stuff. Very interesting stuff. So today, I, I won't be recording later this week. So this will be the only one so far this week. I'll catch back up next week. But interesting things have happened. And I'm not going to take a whole heck of a lot of time. We've got construction spending coming out today. That's going to have a little bit of influence on what goes on in the market. Um, they expect it to go down from the previous reading. Previous uh, reading was, uh, we expect like, um, you know, one-tenth of a percent it to go down. We'll see. Um, you know, that's going to come out later on today. Could have uh, some negative influence. I think that there, if it was a negative, uh, some negative number or something like that, might already be built into the market because let's take a look at what's going on in our market. So look at the mortgage backed securities here. We talked about this, right? The stochastic overbought position. Look at that. Finally, 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 it gave way. They started selling. And it was a big gap down from where it was. So where that was previously, uh, 100.42, now 100.8. So we're talking about 36 basis points different-ish. You know, that's three-eighths of a percent in cost. So what that would, that would uh, equate to from where we were on Friday to where we are today or Thursday, whatever day that that was, I guess it was Friday. So you think about that, your cost, if you're waiting for an interest rate and you said, hey, I like the rate that you guys are offering, but I think it's going to get cheaper next week because probably going to get better because of what's happening in the market. It now got more expensive to the tunes about to the tune of about three eighths of a percent from what it was. That's what I'm seeing here. So we've got this support or not support resistance that I referenced before, this 100.53. That is where they established the market. That was where the market was trading on its own until the Fed announced quantitative easing on November 25th, 2008. Everything above that line was after the Fed announced that. My belief, when I look back at that, that this was going to set a ceiling so far, my belief has proven accurate. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 trading days from when it hit this, when it hit that and bounced off of it. So we have this range here that we're going to trade in. To 90, this uh, looks like 99.83 all the way to 150, 100.53, which is going to be somewhere in the range of about 70 basis points swing. So um, that's pretty significant. That 70 basis points can equal about three three quarters of a percent in cost associated. So we've gotten about halfway there with the, this current drop. Now, this quick drop could achieve us going back into the oversold position fairly quickly. I don't know how fast, and that would be us probably hitting that that uh, support and coming off that. That's technically what I see. Now, there could be news that comes out this week. You know, we've got uh, the JOLTS jobs report. We've got uh, initial jobless claims, continuing claims, um, the unemployment rate, average weekly hours, average earnings, that kind of stuff coming out later this week. I'm not going to be here to give you guys any information on it. So since that's the case, I'm praying that that support holds. So we at least trade in that range. Um, but I'll be able to let you guys know on Tuesday when I'm back. Uh, my team is still here. They're still available. AaronChapman.com. Reach out to Ellen. Reach out to Carly. Reach out to Scotty. Uh, reach out to Bree, my assistant. Just email me and Bree will set you up with whoever you need to. So Aaron.Chapman at SNMC.com. Email me. Bree will get you connected up. You're not going to be losing anything because I because my communication is going to be really, really sketchy over the next few days. It pretty much is not going to be available during the day. So thank you. Appreciate you. And we will see you guys on the uh, next week.